Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, we like to say call Alayim. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that taught us the truth. Shalom and salutations to the hopeful elect. I came out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth and presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice as the scripture teach us to do. All right. Shalom to the um, very few sisters that do listen up as well, and I do mean very few. I'm the brother Yarmire from the Great Millstone Chicago camp. Brother Abraham. And I'm here with this brother Abraham, man, the star studded cast. And, um, and you know, basically, um, you know, this is not going to be too long, nor are any of my other lessons, <laughs> nevertheless. But, um, yeah, man, this is going to be real quick and to the point, man. I done went into this so many times on so many different levels, but, and now more than ever, you know, this has to be brought up, man, like, we don't need gimmicks, we don't need fans, we don't need cheerleaders, and we are not here for the majority, once again, we don't need gimmicks, we don't need fans, we don't need cheerleaders, nor are we here for the majority, we are fishing for the elect, all right, the scripture says, let him who, who saves, let him who turns the sinner from the air of his ways, save a soul from death, all right, and cover a multitude of sins. Let him know that, you know. And through the Spirit, a lot of you Jakes don't understand that, nor do you understand what you signed up for. A lot of you Jakes do not understand that, nor understand the severity of the truth, nor what you signed up for. We out here presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice, man. We not here to make rap videos pertaining to the truth, to be the uh, heavyweight garment seller. You know, if these things that you do on your spare time, that's fine. But this this has nothing to do with the truth, man. Niggas uh, uh, want to throw Israelite wrestling matches, man. What the fuck is you, Vince McMahon? Israelite wrestling matches, man. This shit has nothing to do with fashion shows. Look, we're not here for that, man. We are not fucking here for that, man. We not here to get a crowd. We ain't here to get a majority. We ain't here for the sisters who the most beautiful. So look, them bitches. Look, man, the scriptures say three times a year shall all your men appear before me. They ain't supposed to be in no damn feast. No ceremonies. None of that shit. Not shit, Salaki, but none of that, man. Damn sure not the Passover. Not in the times we in now, man. We leaving Egypt. Speaking of Passover, it's tomorrow sundown. Hey, we leaving Egypt, man, and hey, we got to get out of this place in haste, man. You know? Uh, now, granted, the whole Israel did leave out of Egypt, but, you know, I'm parabolically speaking right now. This is this is a time of war, man. This is a severe, serious time, man. Hey, we ain't got women and children on the fucking battlefield, man. We don't care about having a congregation full of Oh, oh, women and those silly ass niggas, man, that want to rap. Fuck that, man. And that's why you niggas don't like GMS. And we don't like you niggas either. Fuck you niggas. Hey, the scriptures say the unjust is an abomination to the just, mm -hmm. and the just is an abomination to the unjust. The scriptures say, am I therefore your enemy because I tell you the truth? Yes. They hate him, they rebuke it in the gate. Yes, especially those amongst the circumcision. And that's why Paul was going into, especially those amongst the circumcision, man. You niggas who know who you are, man, and do everything to escape the true accountability of what this truth is really about. Salaki, go ahead, brother. I got that. Um, what you had just said, this is Titus chapter 1 and verse 10. It says, for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. That's beautiful. You know, and it's like the brother was saying, especially they of the circumcision, the, the ones that know that they're Israelites, the ones that know to do better and are not doing it. All right, that's just adding more uh, of the many stripes that you're going to be beaten with. It's perfect. Right? Perfect. Because what our, our job is to preach this word and to edify. At the end of the day, that's do this work for your God, keep his commandments. And then... We know we, Yahweh Shai said, you shall know them by their fruits. That's right. What well, what are they doing? Why are what? they doing it? On the most important, like, uh, time of the year. Fuck! I forgot to throw out that loaf of bread. We was at the the wrestling. 
wrestling match. Just dumb shit, man. Just nigga shit, man. But like the brother said, what are they doing, man? You know, what what the fuck are they doing? And you know, like, I don't even watch this shit. Me and the brother Mathati was just talking about it, man. Well, I, I don't watch this shit. I just see other Jake do a video about it. And then I, I can't stand this shit, yeah, man. Yeah, it, it it it's just fucking it's 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 just wicked to me. It's wicked, man. But like the brother brought out the scripture. Read that scripture again. Okay, this is Titus chapter one and verse ten. For there are many unruly and vain talkers. Unruly and fucking vain, man. And it says they are unruly and vain. Cause they don't want to go through the tutelage of the elders and the apostles. Everybody wanna come up with a fucking new thing man look there's no other way to reinvent the wheel man that shit is unruly and vain go ahead for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers especially they of the circumcision that's why you how it's shy it, it makes a difference between you niggas and, and the elect that's why the scriptures say they are not all israel who are the house of israel yeah i was said his sheep hear his voice it's one way Everybody who crept in another way, what'd he tell you? Is a thief and a hireling. The Apostle Paul noted the Israel of God. You niggas are just a group of niggas in garments and beards, man. Wearing your fringes everywhere, man. The scriptures say redeeming the times because the days are evil. How the fuck you going off and wearing your scriptures everywhere? We rehearsing the righteous acts, man. Be circumspect. That ain't circumspect, man. You a damn, it, hey, we are enemies to the state, man. You niggas don't know how to um separate, as the elder Malcolm must say, your Clark Kent from your Superman or your Bruce Wayne from your Batman, walking around in the damn garment all the time. That's, that's stupid, man. That's foolish. That's not spiritual. And if you niggas so hell-bent on the law, the next time you see somebody in the Alpha Big community, you do what the law say do and see where your ass end up. Next time you see somebody talking about adultery, you do what the law say doing your ass end up, man. You people don't understand what we're doing or why we're doing it or how to do it, man, because you niggas are unruly. Go ahead, brother. Got one. This is John chapter 4 and verse 23. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And what they're doing is really uh, the spirit of the scribes and the Pharisees, right? Because they were doing... The things, wicked of the scribes and Pharisees. Right, the wicked of the scribes and Pharisees, the Wada, right? Because what they were doing was uh, to be seen of men, to get praise of men, which is all carnality, which is what we're not supposed to be about, right? We're supposed to worship him in spirit and in truth. All right, and the scriptures say to uh, a Jew is not one outwardly, but uh, after the inward man. All right, to to not seek the praise of, of of men, but of the Most High. Yeah, but see, they play on the minds of these simpletons, man. Um, get on um, that um, Timothy when they said, uh, you know, uh, when they go in the lady with uh, lust with women, it, it names um. Uh, Oh man, fuck! I don't know why I got a brain freeze, man. I know I think it's like Second Timothy, the, the third chapter, or well, it could be the first, First Timothy. For men shall be lovers of themselves, lovers of God, unholy. Okay. You know, because because that's what this is about, man. And, and these are those niggas. These are these are not uh, regular just individuals. He talking about, man. You know, when you go into this, man. You know. But these dudes, you know, they, they leading people astray for all type of different nefarious reasons. You know, like I say, man, some of these niggas are these niggas that couldn't really make it on the block. You know, they tell all these gangster stories and shit, but they was getting their chips took if they ever even thought about making it to the county jail. Or, you know what I'm saying, they tell all these gangster ass stories and shit. And they was the nigga getting sent to the store or the nigga who, who wasn't good enough to rap. Make it in the rap industry now. You know, they all lead the, lead the truth. You know, they find the truth and use that as a way of um, exuding their flesh that they couldn't really go to in the world because they didn't have enough sauce, so to speak, man. These niggas are jokes. And that's wicked as all hell, man. If you're going to be... So, so lucky, real you're good. Quick. If you're going to be in this thing, be in this thing, man. If you're going to be in it, just get, 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 get the fuck out of 
fucking world, man. Bye. But you niggas have to be around to show us what not to fucking do. Go ahead, brother. Tom, this is Second Peter chapter three and verse three. Knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking mm. after their own lusts. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. And if they they have this mentality, because otherwise they wouldn't be doing what they're doing. Hey, that's why the scriptures say, because the sentence against the evil man is not executed speedily. It is fully set in the, son, the hearts of the sons of men to do evil. They think the Lord is a fuck. They think the Lord is a joke, man. That's just simply what it is, man. Especially if you know you're an Israelite, you know it's a proper chain of command, you know who you learned the scriptures from, but you want to get in this thing and do it your own way for, 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 for various niggerish reasons, man. That's exactly what they think. That's a beautiful scripture to bring out. You got that other one? Which one? Let, let me see. Um, it's in uh, Timothy. It's a lucky. It, was, it was charging. Hold on, let me figure it out. Just, um, these phones will, will say, man, hindering this work. Talk while I find it, Abraham. But you got it in the Spanish? No, it's both. Right. Give it, uh, just search it up. Calm, but, uh, like the brother was saying, man, you know, it's the, the day before the Passover, and this is, uh, the type of mentality and spirit that you're in, man. All right, this is why the most it's going to be a time of separation, right? The scriptures talk about the parable of the good fish and the bad fish, right? And then the separation of the sheep and the goats. The most I say he's going to sift the house of Israel. So he's going to separate the wicked from among the righteous, right? This is why the parable of the wheat and the tares, right? The, the harvest is at the end of the world, man. The harvest is at the end. Mm -hmm. So the separation is gonna it were this is pretty much the separation process going on now. Exactly. Go to that uh not that go to Google. I these damn these these, these Bible apps be full. Not that one. <laughs> Some shit gonna pop up on that one. Uh let me see. That's that's cool. Yeah. Here you go right here. It's gonna pop right up on we'll, we'll Google. God, man, so that that's that should put fear in your spirit and in your mind, right? That's the spirit we should be walking in is in the fear of the Lord. Like with everything popping off, World War Three, Mark of the Beast is around the corner, JT is around the corner. It, 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 it's, it's no joke, man. It's no joke, and, and, and they these these clowns are about to see this now more than ever, man. Very. Very, very soon. And I feel so dumb because I had um I said this in Second Timothy the third chapter. And that's that's the way it's said. But you know, players fuck up. Um Second Timothy, this is Second Timothy the third chapter. It says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. And th those also that that's 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 upon us. Verse two. It says, For men shall be lovers of themselves. So like it, lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of Yahweh, and that's what they are, man. Having the, And this lets you know, it's talk about niggas who know the truth. Verse 5, it says, Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. Just talking about bootleg niggas, man. The worst kind of beef. The worst, that's the worst type of nigga in the world to be. A nigga who know he an Israelite and go off. Uh, or onto some strange, weird mix into physics. It's better they had Israelite not known doctrine. the truth. It, it, yeah, say that again. It's better if they had not known the truth. Exactly. Verse 6, it says, For of this sort are they which crept into house, houses, 
Led captive silly women. Let's let you know this talking about them niggas, man. Silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. They got some new shit every week. Every week it's a fucking, it's a flavor of the week. Jet, beauty of the week. You niggas are stupid, man. It says, now as James, Janice, and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds of reprobate concerning the faith. But they shall proceed no farther, for their folly shall be manifest to all men as theirs also was. It's over with, man. You niggas are through, man. Watch the Lord do a house cleaning to sweep you niggas. That's why he said uh, he searched Jerusalem with candles for the men that set it upon their leaves. I have that. that. That's the spirit. This shit ain't no joke, man. This shit ain't no joke. What's that, Zephaniah 1 and 12? Yeah, I got it right here. There you go. We can close it out with that, man. Can't. Waste no time on these fucking monkeys. Zephaniah 1 and 12. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves that say in their heart, the Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. And just like the brother said, you know, in Ecclesiastes, that because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, the hearts that are in them to uh to do evil you know so they're going to continue doing this thing and they're going to continue yeah. to wax worse and worse yeah. next week it might be some other stupid shit that's going on yeah, another wrestling but what we're not surprised the scriptures talk about this talk scriptures talk about these false prophets talk scriptures talk about uh these wicked people in the house of israel and among my people yep so we, it's, so it's part of the story. My people I found wicked yep, men. that's exactly what and I was going to say. If they were with us, they would continue with us. So many, man. But like I use it as examples of what not to do, man. And, you know, showing you that the Lord can take the spirit off of you. and Or, or really, it show you that. And that's why we give double honors to the apostles and the elders and the men who actually led the way and did this the right way, the whole way. You know, when men was watching, when men wasn't watching, when they just did it, man. They just did it. That's why we give double honors to them, man. Can't. Fuck you niggas, man. I, I ain't got nothing. You got something else? Nope. I'm, I'm cool. Me too. All right. All right. With that being said, call the Lallium. Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai by Hashem. Rekakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great meals. Tony taught us the truth to the hopeful like I came out there. Endure. And Shalom. Shalom.